Don and I next met with Stephen Polakis, the town architect for Seabrook, to find out about the special home designs for the new urbanist community. Steve. Hi. How are you? <laughs> yes, great, great. Hi, Steve. Good to see you. Ah, likewise. Uh, yeah. Now, this is an interesting gentleman. <laughs> Most communities, right, and correct me if I go wrong here. Sure, sure are involved with a tremendous amount of bureaucracy, certainly when it comes to planning, architecture. We've all been through it. Anyone that's owned a home anywhere in the US has had to deal with all of that bureaucracy. This is completely unique, right, Steve? You know, I wouldn't say no bureaucracy. We actually, we do follow our county and, and state and international building codes. However, we do have a lot of um, measures in which we are able to review our own code documents, our architectural code documents, which our town planner, Lawrence Kumar, uh, assembled for us and part of my job is actually to implement and make sure that that town plan is being implemented to the grand vision from both Casey and, and Mars. This red area that you see here is is, is officially our, our densest and most retail intensive uh, area of where the main street will be. This area is about what 80 acres or so? It is. It's about 83 acres, and that's kind of a magic number within what makes a great five-minute walking community. At the center of it all is where you find the most density and the most activity. For people that want a little bit more peace and quiet, they live out here. For people that like the hubbub of the town center, they live right in the center. What's the most interesting and exciting thing about this whole project to you as an architect? Right. I have to say that our ability to nestle a beach town into a natural environment with the maximum sensitivity. Of course, you know, my background as a landscape architect, I really care about the land. And I really want to see how you can nestle a place into a beach environment while still honoring it. And I think that that's one thing that we have really done a reasonably good job at. What's significant about it is it's a brand new community designed from the ground up, from the very beginning, from its inception, to become this blending of environmentalism and people that work hand in hand in harmony together. I think that's significant and that we need to be paying more attention to that in our communities throughout this country. The next step from this is taking existing communities and evolving them into this new urbanism concept.